Today I'm going to share a very helpful tutorial with you teaching you how to succeed in college. I have a lot of wisdom on the subject because I'm somebody who just barely skated by and I know what it's like to cheat the system. Starting out, a lot of people might wonder how they'll adapt to a completely foreign environment. How will I find community? How will I fit in, you might ask. Luckily, the solution here is really more simple than people make it out to be. You don't. Of course, following that, everybody wants the cheat code for getting good grades. The most common misconception about college is that it's the grades that matter. As a college graduate myself, I know better than this. The most impactful takeaways after you're done at your university aren't the grades that you get, but it's the memories you'll make. Crying silently in your twin bed because you aren't going to pass Math 112. Now that we're finished with all the boring and mundane aspects of college, let's take a look at how to actually enjoy your experience. If you're living in the dorms, one of the most important things you need to know how to survive is to prank your neighbors. My roommates and I used to wait until quiet hours for an effect in our building, and then we would ride the elevator up to the top floor, the doors would open, and then we'd scream really loudly as the elevator door was closing. We would be screaming for help, of course, but your neighbors will still be really upset, which is the goal. Some other fun ideas that we had in the dorms were to blow up balloons and then pop them outside of people's doors late at night. For this one, you have to ensure that you have an escape route in mind. Otherwise, you might get caught, kicked out of the university, and be forced to save $80,000, and nobody wants that. Now let's talk about the opposite sex. If you meet somebody you're attracted to in college, steer clear. Not because you don't have a shot, but because if I couldn't have them, neither can you. Personally, I can only speak from a male's perspective, but if you display video games in your room up front during the first week of move-in, when people generally have their doors open all the time, you're bound to attract somebody to be friends with. The first time you meet a person become friends with them, it'll be an awesome experience. You'll spend a really formative time of your life with them and share memories for decades, until you decide that they're actually weird and yucky and you've found some other friends that you actually have more important things in common with. For example, my very first friend in college seemed like an awesome guy to start, then he started telling everybody that I had a threesome with some girls in Japan. To make a long story short, I don't even tell people that I've visited Japan anymore. After the novelty wears off though, you can stop pretending to like people who actually drive you crazy. If you're lucky, you'll find somebody in a class of yours that shares common interests with you. If you're like me though, you'll just shit your pants during midterms. Another subject I wanted to touch on is maintaining your fitness in college. Lastly, college parties. I personally only started going to parties after I moved out of the dorms and had a solid friend group to coddle me through complex house party related social situations. When we did start going though, the tradition would be to steal an item of choice from each house party we attended. Candles, bowls, little vases with gray powder inside, you name it. And of course the next day I would be so hungover that I couldn't even make it to class. It's crazy because even when I was completely sober, I couldn't make it to class. Overall, if you're fortunate enough to attend a university, don't take any days for granted, don't forget to work hard, and don't buy any books.